Okay, so we cleaned all of our parts. We brought them back in our bus container. We're gonna go ahead and lubricate things and put them back together. We'll start with the top first. Our beater shafts, our shaft seals. Okay, we have our lubricant. So I like Petrogel. It's an oil-based lubricant, odorless, tasteless, food grade, but it lasts a little longer than the water-based lubricants. So this is what we kind of recommend. down for a second. Our shaft seals. Okay. There is an O-ring on the inside. Cup seal on the back. If this becomes very flared out and worn down, it's time to change. If you feel any cuts or any tears on this inside O-ring, it's time to change. Okay. Now we're going to take some lubricant and we're going to put just a little dab on the inside O-ring. Okay, only on this O-ring. We don't need to get it all over the place. It doesn't have to go on the outside, in here. Sometimes we want to cake this stuff on, but only on that O-ring, okay? We get our beater shaft. It should be nice and snug, okay? If this flies on and flies off, that O-ring is probably shot, needs to be changed, or your shaft seal altogether needs to be changed, okay? Now we saw before our blades. Now we're in November, so we're going to put the odd circle towards the back. Okay, odd circle towards the back. And we want to make sure we have a blade on top, blade on the bottom. Now, if we go to put this back together and we go like this, no harm, no foul, because you're not going to get it in the machine. Okay, this is all designed to be put back together a certain way. If you don't do it like that, you won't get it back in, very simple. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn around, put this into the machine, blade on the bottom, blade on top, and we're gonna slide on the skis. Remember, slide on the skis, so straight ahead. Sometimes people wanna to try to do this and line up the back. All you're gonna do is push forward and you're gonna rotate until you feel it lock in. Okay, until you feel it lock in. You'll know that this is locked in when you can't turn it anymore. Now we have this in place, we'll do the same thing with the other side. Okay, so we'll take our shaft seal. We'll put some lubricant just on the inside O-ring, only on that O-ring. Okay, we'll take our beater shaft and we'll put that on. Again, if it flies on and off easy, time to change it. Just wipe this off. Okay. We're in November, odd towards the back, go ahead and rotate. Now again, if we had this like this, for some reason, and you're having difficulty getting this in, not going to work, okay, not going to work. So we have to have the flat side, flat side up, flat side down, sliding on the skis, right, 12 and 6, go in. Rotate until you feel it lock in. You know it's in when you can't turn this anymore, okay? Now we have our head bushings. We're gonna take a little bit of lubricant on the inside here. Okay, again, only on the inside. We'll rest this down for a second. Same thing on the inside, okay? And this goes right on here, okay? If you have any difficulty, you can just use your finger and kind of prop that up. Get some lubricant in there. Same thing here. So you can kind of use your finger, prop that up, get it in, wipe off that extra, okay? Very simple. Again, not a lot of parts here, very easy, especially that shaft seal. Now we have our front head. Our front head. Okay, we have head o rings here that need some lubricant. So we'll go ahead and put some lubricant on there. Same thing on the other side. 
Try not to get it on the face. That's what comes in contact with the mix. This is odorless, tasteless, food grade lubricant, but we don't want to add any extra flavor to our flavors if we can avoid it. Okay, so now we have those. Set this down for a second. And we'll go to our plungers. Okay, now you'll notice two of them are the same and one of them's different. Okay, we'll call it the odd man out. So the two that look the same, they have two O-rings on it. They can go on either side. Either side, doesn't matter, either side. Okay. So before we put those in, we're gonna take some lubricant. And now I'm only using a little bit here. Little goes a long way. We don't have to load this thing up with lubricant. As long as we're cleaning this regularly and we're wiping off that old grease and putting new grease on, there's no reason to load this thing up. Okay? So when we put it back into the head, we go O-rings down, push. Okay, don't push it all the way down into the head, about halfway. Now our center plunger, we'll notice it's like a nose. We got two holes here and we got extra O-rings. So this is what makes the twist. We're gonna put some lubricant on these O-rings here. And we need to make sure that this goes back into the middle so we can make a twist. Sometimes we'll get a call. I got chocolate leaking into the vanilla. I got vanilla leaking into the chocolate. It's not an even twist. And we'll say, okay, stop. Put your head underneath the machine. Where is the nose or where are the nozzles? If they're not in the middle, we have no twist. Okay, and that's gonna create a lot more work because we gotta break the machine down, take the head off, put them in the right position. So be very careful that the one with the most O-rings and the cutouts goes in the middle, O-rings down. Okay, we'll do our final one. Lubricant on the O-rings. Now I'm reassembling this wet after we just cleaned it. You can clean the night before, leave it out to air dry on the counter, reassemble in the morning when it's dry. But we're gonna be lubricating this, putting it all back together and sanitizing and starting it up with mix. So there's no need to dry everything off right now. Go ahead and wipe my fingers. Last, we have our little air bleed plugs. Now these have two little O-rings on here. We can use that O-ring tool to get them off if we need to change them. Okay, we'll put a little bit of lubricant on here, not too much. These go in here. Push all the way down. Lubricate these into the top. Push all the way down, okay? Now our head is ready. It's lubricated, it's assembled, it's nice and clean. Everything looks good. So I'm gonna step to the side, come around, and we're gonna put this back on, okay? Very simple, line up. Now it's not gonna go fully on, but it'll go on a decent amount, enough that we can put the hand knobs on. So again, these go on. Tighten them down. Same thing here. Once we have those on, we can grab our other two. Okay, now when we're tightening this, we wanna to try to do it crisscross pattern, a couple turns each side. We wanna make sure that we're pulling the head on evenly, okay? And finger tight is fine here. Remember, no tools. Don't put a wrench on here. Don't put a channel locks on here to tighten them down or over crank it. You're gonna damage the head. You're gonna damage the threads. You're gonna damage these, okay? It's gonna be an expensive mistake. And the person coming on after you is not gonna have that channel locks to get this off and they're gonna really struggle to take this head off, okay? So finger tight is more than enough. Now let's put our handles in. Okay, now your handles may have a little bit more of a curve to them. These are our ADA handles, so they stick kind of straight out. But no matter what you have, you'll notice the two of them look the same, and one of them is a little longer in the middle here. Okay, so the odd man out. What happens with the odd man out? It goes in the middle, just like the center plunger, okay? 
These side ones can go on either side, doesn't matter. This center one will not fit on the side, it's too long, okay? So if you try to work this thing in and you're having any difficulty, it's gotta go in the middle. So we'll put it in the middle, we'll push down, set it in place, put it in the little slot, push down, and push down. Okay, so we have our handles. Now we have this bar just to keep them in place. It's got a little ball bearing on each side. It can go in from here, it can go in from there. We're gonna push, push, all the way through, okay? Now we have the rest of our parts here. We're gonna put together the pump. Now if you notice, I'll open up the door real quick. One of them is already assembled. I put the cover back on. This is what it should look like when it's fully assembled. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and put this other side together. So we have our parts. Okay, now our pickup cane or our mix cane at the bottom of this is what we call a duck bill. Again, depending on the model of the machine, it may look like this. It may have some little feet at the bottom of it if it's the older style, okay? But that goes into the bottom. Duck bill in, push in, okay? We have another O-ring here at the top. So we're gonna put a little bit of lubricant on there. Okay, a little bit of lubricant on there. We have this piece. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and put this in here. Clip this down. Our air hose, this is our clear hose. This goes on the end of this. So if you have difficulty, if this is new, sometimes when they're new, they're, they're hard to get on and off. If you run it under some hot water, you can soften it up a bit, make it easier to get on and off. Okay, this goes on. Now we have our air meter here. This air meter happens to be black because it's for Carvel, they have special air meters. Traditionally they're white, um, but they act the same. They have different numbers on them. So this is gonna go into the end of here. Okay, very simple. Now we'll take our red line hose. This is the same one that we had, no need to replace it yet, but if you did, this is when you would change it when you're putting it back together. So we have our clamps. We're gonna go ahead and put this on. Okay. Leave a little bit of daylight at the top. Don't push it all the way up. Leave a little bit of room there. We'll take our clamp. Okay, we'll bring this up top. Tighten this down. Regular hose clamp, easy enough. Finger tight again is fine. When you get resistance, you can stop. So it should look like this. We'll have this facing the inside. Now we have our braided hose, next piece. And we need, we need another clamp. So we will put this in here. Push all the way in. Okay, clamp it down. These hose clamps can go anywhere, they're interchangeable. Don't think that this one has to go here and that one's gotta go up there. Okay, finger tight is fine. Make sure we can't pull these apart. Okay. So now we have our pump. Again, not, not really a pump here, not a lot of parts, guys. Not a lot of parts, very easy. And we'll put this last clamp on here so that it's ready for us when we bring it into the machine. Tighten it so it doesn't slide. Okay, now let's put this back in. So we're gonna open up our cabinet door. Okay, so our red line hose, we wanna make sure that we have the smiley face facing towards us. So I'll take this cover off, we can see. That's what our pump should look like fully assembled. back on. Remember the pump won't run without this cover on. OK. 
okay? Red line hose, again, when it's new, it's a little tough. You can run it under some hot water, make it a little bit more pliable. Now, you can put this in whatever way you feel comfortable. I like to put the right side in first, so I'll create my smiley face. I'll put this side in first, and then I'll use the cane as my leverage to help push up the other side, okay? Now, this would be the same thing for if we were doing it with the pumps in the front. The only difference is with the pumps in the back, both pumps go the same way. When the pumps are in the front, they face each other. Okay, so something to note, they face each other there. There's also a diagram on the inside of the cabinet in case you get hung up. There's one over here on the door and they're in the manual as well. Okay, so again, we're gonna go right side first. We're gonna put the clamp right above that ridge. Put our hose in, okay? I'm gonna use the cane as leverage, push up and just push back into place. Make sure that this isn't in our way. Push up. And settle in. Okay. Now we have our whole, our rollers here. We need to make sure that the hose is not too far forward, like it was there. Try to make sure it's centered on the rollers because if it's too far forward or too far backwards, the edge of this roller is gonna slice that hose. And we're gonna have mix all over the place, okay? So let's make sure that that's where it needs to be. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take this. We're gonna take our air hose that goes back here, gets clamped off, okay? Our shoe clamp, right on. Tighten this down, okay? Can we till we can't tighten it anymore. Our braided hose gets connected here with another clamp. Tighten it down, make sure you can't pull it off. Okay, everything looks good. Now we can put our pump cover on. Pump cover on, tighten it down. 